My plan for this morning is to go outside and to try and tackle my Audi A3's steering wheel. I've had the car for about three or four months now, and everything else on the interior is absolutely perfect. It really is in bloody good condition. But the steering wheel, right where your hand, your palm rests when you're going along and you're driving one-handed, so when you're on a motorway or what have you, has begun to come away. It's sort of just the rubber coating, it's just going. I think it's probably fairly common with wheels of this age. So my plan for today is to take some cycle bar tape uh, and just to tape around the wheel to try and make it look nicer again, but also maintain a fairly nice feeling. I've not seen anyone else do it and I would have thought that's got a good reason behind it. I would have thought it's probably not going to look as good as I think it will in my head. But at any rate, we'll go outside and we'll give it a go. Um, just as a bit of a disclaimer, I'm not taking this particularly seriously, to be honest. It's one of those things, I might keep it on there for a week or so, but the bar tape is its spare to me. It's been lying around in the garage for a while. Um, so I'm just going to give it a go, see what we come out with. Please don't take it all too seriously. If you're going to go and have a rant in the comments, the likelihood is I will just remove your comment. So if you've got anything worthwhile to contribute, go for it. But if you are just there to have a go, then don't bother. There's no point. Anyway, I'm going to jump over to a GoPro. We'll go outside and we'll see what we can come up with. I think we're going to have to make do with a slightly unorthodox setup because the GoPro has so little charge that it needs to be plugged in. Uh, I've got a battery pack in my back pocket and the cable is running up to the GoPro, which is a bit weird. But anyway, we'll see how we got on. Hey Google, turn off the lights. Would you look at the fucking state of that garage? There we go. So, I'm going to grab the bar tape. It's going to be a bit dark in here. This, if you can see, is the end effect that I'm going for. That sort of wrapped kind of finish. So we'll grab the bar tape and we'll jump into the car. So, as you can hopefully now see, we are sat in the car. I've got my bar tape here. Um, I have realised that it has this dreadful Dida, Dida branding on it um, that I really don't like, but like I said before, this is an experiment and literally nothing else. So we're going to give it a go and see how far we get. This tape is pre-stuck, which is quite nice. Um, so it will mean that I don't need to get any double-sided tape on it. Now, in terms of how to actually do this, I know how to wrap a bike handlebar. That's um, fairly easily done, but I've never done a car. So we're going to have to figure out exactly where the best place to start is. Some of this I think I will cut down um, video-wise so you don't have to sit here for the entire time. Otherwise I might just time-lapse it. But the rough idea is, as with a bike, um, in fact, tell you what, I'm going to unlock my steering wheel for a second. Because, bloody hell, that's tight. There we go. So as with a bike, the idea is to start off with a flat point go round and every time you wrap you overlap with about a quarter of the of the bar tape and you pull it tight as you go and in theory it ought to be a fairly decent fit and I might actually be able to oh no I thought I might be able to cover the horrible data branding on there but alas no let's just do an initial wrap of this and we'll see what it looks like. I am going to have to relock the steering wheel because it's spinning a little bit too much. I think the issue is probably going to arise when we get to these thumb bits. And my thinking in advance, at least, was to just cut the tape and then to wrap separately. Because you can go around a corner absolutely fine. But once you get to a point like this, I think you're going to end up with bunching. Yeah, you are can't see any way of doing that because if I go straight down now I end up with a massive air gap here uh, which I really don't want so I think because even if I do yeah I think we'll have to cut it and then just so if you imagine it finishes like that there then we'll cut and then continue down here um, but initially, I don't, I don't hate it, I'll be completely honest. I'm going to use the first bit to wrap the top, second bit to wrap all of the bottom and the sides, because I think that's going to be the easiest way to do it. So we'll give that a go, and I will rejoin you in a moment. 
I have got to undo all of this first, which is going to be... My God, what a fun experience! Okay, so we've got a slightly revised angle, um, so you can see what I'm doing from a different perspective. Um, I'm going to just unravel everything that I've done. So I'm just trying to figure out where the best point to start is, really. And I think it might actually be sort of here, just above this thumb bit. So that's the top done. Wow, I don't mind that. I think people always look at this, particularly on bikes, as a bit of a, a sort of daunting task to do. But it's actually, because the tape is so stretchy, it's almost impossible to mess it up. Because you can just sort of, just stretch it back out again. If you, if you ruin something, you can sort of pull it back and just fix it. Okay, so the time has come. The backing is coming off, as you can probably see. It's one of these little sort of plasticky strip bits that is proving to be a little bit of a nuisance to get off. First criticism that I'm going to issue is the uh, backing of the tape is not particularly high quality. So we've got the initial stick done. Um, what you have to do in order to get it to line up properly is you have to trim down the end a little bit. So you have to cut the tape down a little bit just to give it an edge that lies flush. Now what I think I'm going to have to do here, because it's just not sticking tight because the, the, the tape's just old, I don't imagine you'll have to do this, but... Um, I'm going to have to find maybe even double-sided tape, not double-sided tape, electrical tape, which is going to look tacky as anything. Um, I think I'm going to have to double-sided tape this side down. For the other side, however, so you can see that I've gone a little bit lower. This is where the thumb groove ends on this side, and on this side the thumb groove ends here. So I've deliberately unbalanced it. So what you get in any box of cycle bar tape uh, is these little end strips here. And that is what I'm going to use to patch over this, just to keep that end down here stuck under. Um, shouldn't be too complicated, just need to remove, again, that sort of sticky backing from it. Um, which is... Oi! Bloody chill out, mate. There we go. Pull that off. Around about there. Nope, too much, too much. And then just wrap up and no okay so actually i think we're going to be electrical taping on both sides you know like i said this is going to be a case of trial and error i think we all knew that was going to happen okay so i'm now going to just electrical tape around this it's not going to be particularly tight or anything it's literally just got to do one job which is to hold the end down so I'm going to, again, just work this up a tiny bit. We've got the top bit done. Um, I will I'll, I'll probably pause for about 15 seconds to just let you finish laughing at it. Because, um, as I said in the beginning of the video, the reason why no one has done this is probably because it looks shite. Um, not far from the truth as it goes. Um, so, the problem is largely down to the tape that I'm using. I think if I used more expensive tape, and I think I will probably retry this again in the future, if I used more expensive tape, I think it would stick better. However, what I can say is it feels really nice. Genuinely feels half decent. The most complicated part is unfortunately yet to come, which is these stupid bloody side bits, um, which I th and the bottom, of course, which I think are going to prove to be... Um, quite challenging. I mean, it, I've genuinely seen worse looking steering wheels. Not many. Um, and most of them were in, you know, various scrap heaps and whatnot. So it's not that I'm blowing my own trumpet here. It is, I mean, it's not, it's not gone well. I think we'll cut it. 
there ish. So I want to come across an angle, don't I? So I want to go like that, I think. Yeah. Bottom is looking quite clean. It could have looked cool, actually, to use electrical tape of an interesting colour, um, just to offset it. Okay, so that is it. That is the completed wheel. Um, like I said in the beginning of the video, uh, I haven't seen anyone else do this, and it's probably because it looks shite. Well, I can now answer that question for you uh, with a resounding sort of. I mean, it's one of those things. I can see it working in a project car. Um, if you have... Yeah, if you've got something cheap and basic um, that you just use as a runabout, maybe you're doing some, some builds on it or with it. Um, I can see it working. I, I definitely can. For a quote-unquote luxury German saloon car, mm, not sure how well this really works, to be honest. It is comfortable, I will say that much. It is genuinely really comfortable, but... The biggest problem, without a shadow of a doubt, is simply just the fact that it... Well, the glue on my tape is just bad. It just does not stick by itself. So, the bits that are on, like this top bit, if you look at it in isolation, looks perfectly decent. It actually reminds me a little bit of some of the wheels from the, um, from the TTRS. They're a little bit like that, because they've got a sort of a threaded pattern like that. Obviously, this is nothing close to a wheel like that. However, it is it is comfortable to hold, definitely. By all means, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, as I said before, if you are just going to throw expletives around, to be honest, it's not a worthwhile contribution, and I am just going to delete your comments, so probably don't even think about trying. If you've got any experience of doing this yourself, I mean, I haven't seen anyone else do it, but that definitely doesn't mean that there aren't other people who have attempted it in and of their own right. Um, so if you have tried it with more success than I've had, because I realise a lot of this is also going to be down to the fact that I've never wrapped a steering wheel in bar tape before. Um, to be honest, I've done handlebars, I can do those. But this is just way harder to do. Uh, so if you've done this and you've had any more success, then by all means... Um, share your thoughts. If you try it, having seen this video and you have some more success, by all means, again, share your thoughts. If you want to see some of my social media stuff, it's all in the description down below. Um, Instagram is probably the best place to contact me directly, other than the comment section of this video, if you feel any need to do so. So yeah, that has been the video for today. Um, I will end it with a couple of quote-unquote glamour shots. Not There's a lot of glamour left in this one, but yeah, we'll go from there. Awesome. Thank you for watching. Bye.